Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Subject Neutral. Today we are trying a game called the Dresden Files Cooperative Card Game. This is, uh, this is a game that was originally on Kickstarter. It's based on the very popular uh, novel series, The Dresden Files, which is essentially real modern day dude's a wizard. It's a wizard meets detective agency. It's pretty good, big fan. Uh, and this is originally based on a Kickstarter for a card game. It was really popular. And as part of the Kickstarter and as part of just their work afterwards, they teamed up with another studio to make uh, a Steam version of the game. So it's very similar to Hearthstone or things like that where you're using cards. Uh, we're just going to get right into it. And it's meant for a certain number of players. I'm doing Hot Seat just to really kind of show off some of the different cards and different way it plays. But it is meant to be a multiplayer game or you can play it solo. Uh, solo but e normally each player is one character. And the idea is as you play the game, we're just gonna do random everything. Uh, let's just pick a different deck. The idea is each one of these decks as it are is a mission. And the mission is based on the different books. So it's very similar. There's gonna be the bad, same kind of bad guys and each player can pick a different character, which we'll look at here. And each character is based on someone in the books. I have to go and unlock that again. This is based on someone in the books, and more than that, too, they are all different kind of loadouts. So some of them are really good at taking out the monsters. Some of them are really good at overcoming challenges, and so on and so forth like that. And you need to really work together to use them to defeat the challenges and clear the board. So here we've got a board, and we've got different things set up here. These orange one or uh, these yellow ones these are like obstacles and there you have to get rid of them before you can kind of do other things or they put a big crimp in your game or stuff like that these purple ones are bonuses advantages they'll boost your guys they'll give you good stuff things like that the green is cases they're the mysteries you need to solve and red is the bad guys to win the game you need to have solved more cases than there are bad guys still left on the board so that kind of uh, determines your strategy. Do you want to take a real combat heavy kind of team and try and destroy the monsters? Do you want to try and take a really investigative team to try and get more clues and solve mysteries and cases and stuff like that? And so there's a lot of, uh, like there's a fair bit of tactics and strategy that goes into it. So here we've got our team, Harry Dresden, the main character himself, and his team load up up here. We've got Michael Carpenter, Holy Templar, Billy and Georgia, Modern Day Werewolves, Karen Murphy, Cop, Badass, Valkyrie, all kinds of things, and Susan Rodriguez, who's an uh, investigative journalist. So we've got a real good mix. We've got some kind of combat -y people, we've got some investigators, and we've got sort of our basic guys. So we're just going to give it a try, and we'll go through this. And one of the main currencies, as you will, let's, we're going to start with Dresden as our first guy, is these fate points. That's what you're spending to cast your ability. So if we look, if we bring up a card, this blue here is the fate points it spends, what it does, its range and stuff like that. So we're going to open up just real easy, no valid targets. Oh, let's see. Uh, we want to just have a look at some of these cannot overcome other obstacles until this is finished. Uh, so we really want to try and get rid of some of these obstacles. So it's going to be kind of expensive, but we are going to get rid of this first. So you're kind of clearing the board. You're also kind of focusing on the green and the reds, but you need to get rid of some of these obstacles in order to do so. You also want to keep an eye on the purple ones to help you. And in order to get those fate points back, you essentially have to ditch some of these cards. You can spend it for fate, essentially. Ah, but that's going to be tricky. You also have some other things, like each person has certain special abilities here. So you have what's called talent, which usually happens when you discard, and it lets you do certain things. So these guys, every time you discard, not only do you get fate, but you get to hit add one hit to the foe at the longest range. You also have what's called a stunt, which is sort of their signature move. You can only do that once per game, though, so you want to be very careful about that. Uh, let's see, I think I'm actually going to 
do this for fate. Yeah. So we got seven fate back from that, because unfortunately it wasn't a very good roll. And because we did that, one hit goes on the guy at the longest range. We're going to use some of these cheap ones. We want to really clear out these uh, investigate or these uh, obstacles. That's going to be far away. That's a pain. So I think now what we're going to do is start trying to solve some of these cases, like these early ones, and then try and focus down Lloyd Slate here and hurt him. Yeah. Let's get rid of... Ooh, we don't have a lot of investigation, so let's scrap that for fate. See, and here's it's saying roll, so it could be plus or minus. So we were... That costs three, plus or minus two more. Uh, oh, we have... I was hoping she'd have more investigation stuff. One clue at the shortest range. That's good. So she's pretty good. Uh, you can also only have a max of 13 fate. So you want to be a bit careful with how you're doing that. Let's start... You're at range one. That's no good. Let's just start putting a herd on for this guy. So that was good because that means... It normally costs a 3 plus a dice roll. We got minus 1, so it really only cost us 2. So let's just start putting a few damage on him. You also, you don't draw cards, which is very important to note. Okay, move one obstacle, one to three range. Active player draws two cards. It's pretty good. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to scrap this. We get one fate. And this, when you discard, we get to move one of these over. We're going to move this so that we can try and get these really quick. Uh, and then, let's see, what, what do you do here? The attack may only be used if it's not the target foe. This attack can only be used if it will not defeat the target foe. So yeah, let's put that on here. And that's a fair bit of damage, so we might be able to kill him soon, but then we really need to focus on investigations, and it occurs to me we don't actually have any. Let's see. Stunt. As you turn, flip this three. That carry the farthest range in the row. Let's see. We could do that to him, just to really damage him down. Active player draws two cards. Next. They either draw one card or take one turn back from the disc. We're going to use this here. Draw, no, draw a card from the deck. Oh, that's really not what I wanted. Draw a card from the deck. Good. We need investigations. So, we re okay. And we've got no points for it. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna scrap you, and that puts uh, a couple of a couple of hits there. These we can all really just scrap. Okay, when you discard, for, you can select which card to add one of these to. It essentially takes one hit away from one of the bad guys and adds it here. We're gonna put it here because we want to try whittling away that. Uh, let's see, five. And so we could kill this guy. And I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. And crunch you. There we go. What's your... Add one hit to all foes that have at least one hit. When you discard for a fee, you may add one hit to the foe at longest range. So let's discard this. That continues to whittle away this guy which is pretty good. We might be able to use some people's stunts to do damage. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. We can't... We can use this stunt just to put a bit of damage. I think that's what we're gonna do. Use stunt, hit this. Does a bit of damage. What I'm thinking is other people, their ability gives us fate for everybody that's been hit. Each foe with hit and each case with clues on it. I think we're going to do that. Use stunt. Just because then that gives us some... Um, we can start doing some of these investigations. 
So like five clues here. That's good. That means we can essentially get this. We need to try and kill one more guy and like get at least two cases. Um, yeah, we're gonna... Oh, that was expensive. But that means we can do this. And that gets him some more cards. Because you lose if the guy can't do anything. I can move it to the one to three range... We're going to do it here, although it doesn't really matter. Oh, good. That's what we needed was investigations. Uh, that's your turn. Add one hit. To, okay, we're going to do that. Nah. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do this. You stunt. All it does is really kind of whittle some people away. And here... Wait, what's this say? Overcome one obstacle, add two clues to any cases, and two hits to any foes adjacent to this obstacle. So if we did that, it's adding it there. I think I'd rather take the uh, the fate points. Okay, and we move on six, so we could solve this pretty much immediately. Three clues to any, okay. This would really beat this, but it lets us put some stuff on lots of other things. Uh, let's see. You know what? We're going to do it. Okay. And through here. Pick a case to receive three. Three. How are our range? It's not too bad, but I think we're going to stick them all there. As your turn, to choose any one player to draw one card. That player takes the next turn. Okay. We're going to discard this. We're running out of options, and we're not doing so hot this game. Four hits. So we need to get this guy up by two more damage. Don't add two clues to all cases in one row. No, I want to save that because that lets us do a lot. So let's scrap you. No, I'm just going to leave that there. That doesn't matter. Not solve the target case. And if we scrap it, we'll get points. Yeah, this probably isn't smart. But I have a kind of plan. If we can whittle away him... Dresden's ability might let him do some damage to it. Three. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna cost us. Oh, I did that wrong. I thought it would let me hit this person, but it won't. Okay. So, that wasn't what I meant to do, but it does whittle away them. Okay, let's see. Three. Let's go with you. So we have no cards. We can pass and it will cost us a fate. Or we can use the stunt. We might as well use the stunt. And the question is just going to be who do we use it on? And I'm thinking we use it on Karen. No, you know what? We're going to use it on the werewolves. Use stunt on Billy and Georgia. Okay. They got an attack. If I do two, those ha 8, 9, 10. This could really screw me. I think I've got a better idea. 5, 6, and 8, 9, 10. Do I scrap? You know what? can't remember who has what cards. You can look it up, but I don't like doing that because it is supposed to be a different thing. You know what? Oh, is it not within range? Yes, can't do it. So we're going to have to scrap it because we didn't overcome that obstacle. I can't actually hit anybody. Uh, and we'll just, well, could use it to get rid of you. Uh... Everyone else has just investigations. So you know what? We're going to scrap this. 
Okay, not hugely worth it. We essentially have to, at this point, be doing stuff. So results are minimal, but that should be enough. We can finish that, add some hits. Yeah, we are probably going to win this. We skip you, and it will cost one fate. Come on, there we go. So we're going to instead use his stunt to get rid of Princess Aurora. And that's enough for victory. We can still go to improve our score because now what's happened is we have more cases solved than we have foes remaining. However, we're not going to be able to get through. We're not going to have cards. So instead, what we choose, what we can do is, as soon as I remember the button, we can trigger the showdown, which is kind of the final, your final chance. We're going to trigger it. And what happens with the showdown, ignoring that loud beat, is we can spend whatever fate we have left for essentially uh, a chance roll. So it costs us two fate. We get to roll five dice plus two for a chance to try and finish the cases. You can really only do this for the ones that are close to finishing. So if we try this, we get to add three more hits to the ogre, brings them to eight, not enough to kill them. So you really don't want to rely on the showdown, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. But this is the Dresden Files cooperative card game. It's pretty good. I was showing you the hot seat, so you don't normally control all five players like that. But it's a pretty good game. I enjoy it. Big fan of the Kickstarter and a really big fan of the books. Uh, have a look at them, check them out. Hope you support the game and all that. If you enjoyed it, hit like and subscribe and all that jazz. And we will see you next time.